Richard and Pete Moore from Swindon. I've lived here for around 14 years. Before that, I lived in Royal Wharton Bassett. I currently head up an events team for an organisation called UKRI, which stands for the UK Research and Innovation. It's a government funding agency invested in science and research in the UK. I've worked there for over 30 years, 32 years to be precise. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened because I only signed a six month contract. And I'm pretty sure they're still paying me. I'm also very lucky to be a, a, a consultant for Hinders Bates, which in itself is a fourth generation family business with over 90 years of trading under their belts. Um, who now specialise solely on making and distributing a large range of particles um, and baits across the commercial carp and barbel ranges. I first started fishing when I was around 10 years old. I was on a camping holiday with my parents and grandparents. Um, typical 10 year old wouldn't keep still, I was saying I was bored. So we had a bit of a, an explore around the um, working farm that we were staying on for the holiday and found a little pond and there was um, there was a lad on there pulling out little roach one after the other I was mesmerized I sat there for a ridiculous amount of time watching this lad so my granddad took me back to the caravan and took took the net off my um, rock pool pole and net that you know most kids had at that age and he found some cotton in a um, sewing kit that was in the caravan and a pin and he bent the pin and over the gas flame with a pair of pliers four little matchsticks with some electric tape for a float and um, we stole some bread out of the cupboard in the caravan went down to the pond um, and started catching little roach and that was it i've been hooked ever since uh, things got in the way as I got a little into my teens I started playing a lot of football um, and of course then the um, girlfriends came into the mix but in my late teens I soon got back into it and got the bug really bad really and it's been like that ever since I'm a very passionate angler love my fishing but still think back to those days when I first started you know I only used to fish once a year when we used to go on these camping holidays my parents and none of my friends were really into fishing so I didn't have a lot of opportunity but I remember saving up pocket money and going and buying little bits and pieces from Woolworths of all places they used to have two aisles of fishing equipment oh man I, I just spent ages ridiculous amount of time seeing what I could buy you know three packets of hooks for a pound when I think back the tackle was of a pretty poor quality but these were little gems to me that I could save up and then once a year on this two-week holiday at Northern Farm uh, near Corf Castle I actually take my kids there now I still go we still go camping there and my two girls um, quite enjoy fishing there uh, we've had some good days they now the pond is exactly the same but they've actually stocked it with some carp now as well so we have some really good days on holiday, great family time, um, yeah, and uh, really enjoy it. Uh, good question. So the first fish I ever caught was at Northern Farm, um, tiny little roach, and uh, just feeling that little life form in my hand, unhooking it, slipping it back and seeing it swim away, yeah, it, uh, I still no matter how big a fish you catch or how little I still get that buzz from every fish I catch I just love being out on the bank love catching a fish whether it's a gudgeon, a barbel um, a roach a tommy ruff or a big carp I just love my time out on the bank quite a difficult one I think but I think if I had to choose one I think it would have to be the barbel Growing up in Swindon, I didn't really think I'd ever catch a barbel. I read about them, saw people catching them on television and things, but didn't think I'd ever be able to. And uh, from the day that I was lucky enough to catch one on the River Avon near Sutton Benger was my first barbel fishing. 
um, yeah, just love them. Love, love the look of them, the absolute power, that folding over of the rod when you get a bite is pretty unmistakable. So I think, I think if I had to choose a favourite, it would be the barbel. My favourite venue, well, I quite like fishing a lot of different waters. I don't tend to just fish one all the time. I like to mix it up a little bit and try for different species. But I guess running water, probably the River Avon, although I do love the Wye as well. But the River Avon's got a special place in my heart because it's where I first started river fishing. I used to have some really good days down there with mates and some good captures as well. So I think probably the River Avon is my running water. If I had to choose a still water, it's probably Aspen Lake Fisheries. So Aspen's my current carp syndicate lake that's in Ashton Cane, so on the water parks. Probably a bit of a strange choice because I probably blank there more than I catch, but it's a water that really makes you work for every fish. So I think every fish you catch there does mean something. And you, you can leave frustrated, but as soon as I've left and I'm driving home, I'm thinking, right, how am I going to put this right for the next trip? So I think probably Aspen is my Stillwater favourite venue at the moment. So my biggest fish in the UK um, was from Aspen Lakes, and it's a 37 pound 10 ounce mirror carp. I've not really fished abroad. Um, family and work has dictated that I haven't managed to do that. It's something I would love to do. The only time I have fished abroad is when I've, I've been working or I'm on family holidays actually. So I used to work in the States quite a lot and we went to Austin, Texas for an event one year and I had a day between the end of the event and my flight home. So I, I reached out to a group called the Austin Carp Anglers and I met a guy um, two guys actually called Kevin and um, Lee who made me very welcome I met them on this it's called a lake but you couldn't see across it it looked like an inland sea it was called um, Walter E Long Lake I think it was called and we fished on there for the day um, for what they call buffalo carp mammoth buffalo carp we didn't catch any, but I had a great day just exchanging stories and I, it's something I really want to go back and do again. I'd love to meet up with the guys again. I'm still in touch with them. I'd love to go back fishing there. The only other fishing I've done abroad was on like a charter boat um, in Alcudia in Spain, actually. I went out uh, trolling for Barracuda and had a great afternoon um, trolling around the bay in the sunshine and had probably eight or nine barracuda in the afternoon um, yeah great times great times but I would definitely I'd, I'd love to do a proper campaign overseas to fish so I think my most memorable session was probably when I used to be on the winter syndicate at home pool Chad Lakes in Stow on the Wold I remember me and my brother turned up it was between um, Christmas and New Year weather was awful it had been cold for days and days and days bitter bitter wind we arrived at the lake um, seven o'clock in the morning still under the cover of darkness to find that it had a lid on it. it it was pretty much frozen all the way over from the house down to the little island that's halfway down the lake where they call the shed swim if you know anything of home pool so we're a bit dejected. We knew there was a chance because we'd spoken to Dave and Gay the day before and they said there was some ice around. But we walked around the lake and there was two swims at the bottom of the lake that had just about enough water for us to fish. So it was either take a risk, fish for the day, or go back home to the inevitable list of jobs that we all get. So me and my brother decided to fish, cast a couple of rods out as close to the end of the pack ice as we possibly could couldn't see my brother he wasn't fishing that far away from me but the, the fog um, was pretty thick so I couldn't even see my brother anyway cast out baited up sat back put the kettle on only been there about 45 minutes and 
very, very slow bike. The, the bobbin just slowly raised up to the alarm. The alarm started to go, pulled into it. And um, after quite a short fight, I think the fish was more shocked than I was, caught an absolutely stunning, fully scaled uh, mirror carp. Just, just a couple of ounces under 30 pounds, but the size really didn't matter. Probably to this day, one of the prettiest fish I've ever caught. Um, it wasn't quite a snow carp, but there was a lot of frost on the ground, so are you going to give that to me? I'm not sure. I didn't give it to myself. But still one of the prettiest fish I've ever caught. And that session in those conditions just, uh, yeah, sticks out in the memory, I think. So over the next 12 months, I love to catch a double-figured bream. Um, been on my wish list for a few years, but I think this year I am actually going to try and do a bit more work to, to catch one of these. I'd also love to catch a catfish, which I'm sure will fill my fishy buddy Steve with dread. Um, but we're doing it, Steve. We're going to do a catfish trip this year. Um, yeah, I'd love to catch a catfish as well.